Believe it or not, I captured this beautiful image with an all-in-one $349 telescope. This tiny scope is all it took in order to capture stunning stellar landscapes like this. Wow. Today's video is going to be a very relaxed video where I take you through some of the time lapses of my most recent mosaic masterpieces. And I show you how you too can capture images this good with the Seastar S30 Smart Telescope. I'm Damon Scotting and this is Astronomical. In a recent video, I compared the Seastar S30 to the Seastar S50 telescope. The main difference between the two being that the S30 is smaller but significantly cheaper. I did highlight one potential advantage to the reduced focal length of the S30 is that it means it has a wider field of view. And with that being said, I put it to the test and utilized the Sky Atlas software featured in the Seastar app to find myself some targets whose beauty is maximized by the use of this mosaic tool. First up was the Veil Nebula. Generally, we astrophotographers have to split these targets into two. You have the Western Veil Nebula and the Eastern Veil Nebula, each distinctly beautiful in their own ways. I have more of a preference for the Western Veil Nebula since there's a star in the foreground that adds a bit of sparkle to your view. And using the S30 or the S50's standard field of view, you are still restricted to just one of them. But now, with the S30, I can do this, perfectly encapsulating the entirety of the Veil Nebula. In order to image this complete area, the telescope will take a series of overlapping images and stitch them together as it goes along, presenting you with a live view of the process, which I'd argue is in itself a unique enough experience. It's like your personal telescope is putting together the puzzle pieces of the universe. The more time it spends working on the problem, the higher the final quality of the image. A little bit of background info on the Veil Nebula. It is a supernova remnant. The eastern and western veils that you see are mere outlines of the explosive shell produced from the death of a truly colossal star. In today's video, I've captured precisely 10 mosaic masterpieces, and I think the Veil Nebula is probably my fourth favourite of the bunch. Each image took between one to two hours to complete, and many of them were greatly aided for the most part by the Seastar's inbuilt light pollution filter, which has done wonders here for our next target, the North America Nebula. Practically all of these mosaic images are 4K resolution, which means they are just over 8 megapixels, so they are of decent quality and provide you with enough room to comfortably zoom in on the smaller aspects. I think these images will be best enjoyed if I just quiet down for a bit and let the time lapses of their imaging process play out. So I'm going to save my favourite two until the very end so I can talk about them in a bit more detail. But as for the other six, just sit back and enjoy.
So I hope you've been enjoying the images so far. Just before I show you my favorite two, I wanna highlight a fairly obvious point. These images aren't perfect, specifically around the edges. That's the biggest fault I have found with them so far. With a lot of the shots, I'm pushing the S30's mosaic field of view to its upper limit. So a get around way of solving the noisy corners would of course be to crop them. But obviously you're going to lose parts of your image by doing so. I'd be interested to hear what your solutions are to this problem. So please let me know in the comments down below. All right, now it's time for the silver prize of this mosaic masterpiece competition. I present to you Mars and the Beehive Star Cluster. This is a limited edition shot. And what I mean by that is that the proximity of the red planet to this open star cluster is rare and the days in which you can image it are heavily limited. I absolutely adore the idea of capturing these temporary matchups that bring the terrestrial and the interstellar together. As you can see, the planet Mars is bright. So bright, in fact, that it causes these stray light artifacts to appear throughout the image. It seems very difficult to avoid this happening, but I suppose I should be thankful that Mars isn't as bright as Jupiter, since this is the disaster that occurred when trying to image the gas giant as part of a mosaic shot. So I captured this image just a few weeks ago, but now it is impossible to replicate the same image because Mars has moved much further away from the Beehive star cluster. But fear not, as I've done some research and due to Mars's retrograde motion, it will be swinging back this way in five months time. However, this time it will be even closer to the Beehive cluster and almost two orders of magnitude dimmer, making this composition all the easier. But watch out for Star Wars Day, as at midnight on the 4th of May, the moon is also breathtakingly close to the red planet. Planet. There really is a hidden treasure trove of beautiful compositions that you can simply capture with these smart telescopes. Which leads me onto the finale, my favourite image captured so far. And no, it is not a rare chance alignment, in fact this will likely be the easiest shot for absolutely every single person watching this video to replicate themselves. I present to you, Orion's Belt. I absolutely love this image. I think it's beautiful and it's certainly relatable to the average person with next to no interest in astrophotography because practically everyone has looked up at one point in their lives and gazed at the dazzling spectacle that is the three stars, Aonatak, Aonalam and Mentaka that make up the belt of Orion. But through the help of a powerful all-in-one $349 astrophotography setup, I have unveiled another layer of beauty to our night sky by capturing the Horsehead and Flame Nebula. Seasoned Northern Hemisphere astrophotographers will be watching this thinking, hmm, something seems a little bit off. And that's because I have in fact flipped the image for the sole benefit of making the horse head appear the right way up. Here's how it would typically look. The contrasting colours between the young blue stars that make up Orion's belt and the fiery red colours that set alight the dark nebula known as the horse head is a combination made in the heavens. All of these were captured with a Seastar S30 plonked on my window ledge. Capturing astonishing images of the night sky has seemingly never been this accessible or affordable ever before. So if you are interested in purchasing a Seastar S30 yourself, or perhaps its bigger brother, the Seastar S50, then click the link below. Please let me know in the comments below which of these images was your favourite and why. Astrophotography is an art form and therefore the beauty that we find in each of these images is subjective. I tend to find images with a richer scientific background to be of more interest such as the Veil vale Nebula. But after showing these images to my partner Izzy, we seem to have differing opinions on which of these images were our favourites. She was particularly fond of the Heart Nebula and was dumbfounded as to how something so beautiful to us here on Earth could quite literally randomly form within our own galaxy. The universe really can be a beautiful place sometimes. Thank you all for watching and clear skies. I'm Damon Scotting and this was Astronomical. Thank you.